What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Well, hey folks, it's another snowy day here at the homestead. So I'm going to take this opportunity to answer a few more of the questions that have come in. Questions roll in on a daily basis, and I'm going to try and answer a few of these th from time to time in my vlog series. One question that comes in almost daily is, what video editing software do I use? That's the million dollar question right there. All I use is the Movie Maker program that came with my laptop. That's what I started out with. That's what I've been using all along. Although I don't recommend it, it's a very frustrating system to use because there's a lot of glitches involved with it. It's time for me to upgrade. I plan on buying a Mac, learning a whole new system. I'm not looking forward to the learning curve, but it's time for me to move up. On the same token, I want to do more wildlife footage like I did with the beavers. I really enjoyed filming those. I know that my viewers enjoyed seeing the beaver activity, and I want to do more with the wildlife. I definitely need to move up the game in the game and get myself a better camera with a more powerful zoom. So I'll be upgrading my whole outfit across the board throughout the year as my finances allow me to do so. Another question that come in quite often is how come I don't show my girlfriend or my family in my videos? Well, to put it bluntly, it's just because I am entitled to a private life. It's a crazy world out there. Just like other YouTubers, I have haters. I just assume keep my private life private. However, this past weekend, my son came up for a visit haven't seen him in a while. We went to the cabin. We had some guy time. It was just really good to sit and chat with him and catch up. We tipped a few beverages and ate a bunch of deer camp snacks, you know, cheese and pepperoni, hot peppers and stuff like that. And we kicked around the woods for a little bit there. I showed him some of my hunting spots and... Uh, it was really good for Frankie, too. It was nice to have an extra set of hands around just to throw toys. <laughs> this is the first time I ever think I've seen him do dishes. <laughs> i go find a broom for him. <laughs> he sent up a little painting that my granddaughter did. Autumn, she's seven. Painted a daffodil with a watering can there. Sent that up for Grandpa. So I want to thank you, Autumn, for the lovely picture. That was very heartwarming to get that. I'm going to hang it here with the rest of my treasures. But it was really good catching up with my son. You'll be seeing him more often in my videos now that he's living back east again. People ask if I could do a video on the coffee press. They're not familiar with them. They'd like to see how I make my coffee. All I do with that is um, I grind up the amount of coffee that I would use for two big mugs of coffee because that's what my coffee press will hold. There's two big mugs of coffee. So I just put in my ground coffee. I fill it to the top with boiling water. Then I wait approximately seven minutes or so and push the plunger down. Everybody that I've turned on to this are enjoying it as much as I do. Now another question that comes in quite frequently is, how do I sharpen my knives? People see the knives that I'm working with in my videos are really sharp. I like to keep them that way. Believe it or not, nine times out of ten, all I use is this cheap little handheld knife sharpener. They're a little bit tough on the blade. What I mean by that is if your knife is dull and you just keep swiping this, it will remove some of your blade material and over time will wear the blade down. But if you don't allow your knife to get really dull, just a few quick swipes with this and then hit it with a honing rod, you'll keep that knife razor sharp. Does a great job. You don't have to be a skilled knife sharpener to use this successfully. 
Folks been asking about my chainsaw. What chainsaw do I have? The big saw that you see most of the time in my videos is the Husqvarna 562 XP. Pretty pricey saw. I've had it now for, I don't know, maybe six years, maybe seven, somewhere in there. It's been a great saw. I've had no problems with it. Am I going to be doing any more cast iron? Absolutely. I'm always restoring ironware of one form or another. I've got some more waffle irons to do in that little fry pan that I showed you in a video not long ago that was all rusty. I let it soak in vinegar for a couple of nights and you could just see where it was pulling all of the rust off of that pan and I scrubbed it in the sink and I brought it right back to bare iron and I've got it in the wood fired oven right now getting some of the seasoning done on it and then I'll haul it over to the cabin and finish it on the gas grill like I did with the waffle iron. Well there you go it's right down to bare iron no harsh chemicals, no grinding wheels, no sandpaper, nothing. Just white vinegar and a little bit of elbow grease. I'm going to start seasoning the pan now. Just one little spot right here. It's got a rougher texture. I don't know. Maybe there was a little bit more rust there, but it'll still be a nice pan. Well worth the effort. Okay, just a couple more things and I'm going to wrap this up. First off, I want to send out a big thank you to everyone that's been using the Amazon link that's in the description below. There's still some misconception about that, a bit of confusion going on, so I'm going to take a moment to explain. I came up with this because we get a lot of packages in the mail. Folks are sending toys and treats and stuff like that for Frankie. Sometimes they pay quite a bit of money, even on the shipping alone. I'm very picky about what I give Frankie. I don't give him rawhide chews. Um, certain treats that have all kinds of artificial this and that in it. I don't give it to Frankie and I really hate to see people waste their money. So instead I came up with this Frankie's Healthcare Fund and I don't ask for donations of any kind. It's simply if you already shop at Amazon I ask you to click on the link below and then bookmark it, save it to your favorites. Whenever you shop at Amazon, just go through that link. And it's a win-win situation. While you spend money entirely on yourself, Amazon will send 4% of their money into Frankie's Healthcare Fund. It's a win-win for everybody. There's no donations required. No one's wasting any money because, again, you're spending entirely on yourself and helping Frankie. He's going to be nine years old, so I know what the future holds, and I want to be prepared for it. So I want to thank everyone that's been using the link. And if you have it and you like the content of this channel, you find it beneficial and entertaining, just click on that link, bookmark it, and use that when you shop. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. So one of our subscribers saw that Frankie was having some problem with ice buildup in his paws. So they ordered Frankie some boots through Amazon. And I just want to share with you Frankie's first boot wearing experience. <laughs> <laughs> you got shoes on. Look at your shoes. You got shoes on. <laughs> you look pretty cute in those shoes, Frankie. You like your new shoes? Do you? You like your new shoes? <laughs> oh, you look too darn adorable. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> You like those? You like your boots? Do you like your boots? You like your boots, Ricky? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of the cabin life, 
please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you and God bless.